that battle has gone too far. He versus Sasuke is one of the trashiest things I ever seen from this channel. And they are the same ones that said that Lobo would get beaten by fucking Ghost Rider who I'm not even gonna get into that. But goddamn this matchup was stupid. Not the matchup itself, but the analysis and their scaling was horrendous. So yeah, I'm Cracktoons and uh, let's get into the video and uh, well, it's debug time. First of all, that battle makes some bad calculations like saying that Toneri's feet it's only 29 or 30 hectatons when it's actually been calculated before to be around 200 or more. And they also don't take into consideration that Toneri was about to move and actually moved a little the moon and his whole plan was to move the moon towards the earth and to do such thing you would be calculated to be or Toneri himself is calculated to be around planet to large planet level which is well above everything Yusuke or Hiei or everybody from Yu Yu Hakusho has. They actually miscalculated uh, he, uh, not he is, sorry, uh, they actually miscalculated Yusuke's feet as well. That feet it's not planet level, like they calculated to be planet level but I just can't see it. Maybe it's just me, maybe I'm not good at calculations. But I'm pretty sure that that feet it's not well calculated. They also kind of gloss over and dismiss the speed factor in here because Hiei's best feats are like massively hypersonic or something like that which is not very fast whereas Naruto characters have been stated to be light speed like the Reikage who is said at its fastest to be light speed and even Naruto touching light and the difference between light and Hiei's best feat it's gigantic. Sasuke would be so fast that he would not even be able to see him or comprehend him or anything. He would get one-shotted like nothing. Speaking of one-shotted, they also don't calculate or don't take into consideration a lot of important things. There is also the fact that Kurama is stated to be able to turn the world to ashes. For example, Kinshiki is able to split worlds, Momoshiki even destroyed a world, and even uh, a star, and even was about to consume a star. There's Kakuya who can create dimensions that have stars in them, and uh, moons and all that kind of stuff. She can destroy one of her dimensions with the giant true seeking orb or whatever it's called and as I said earlier those dimensions have moons and stars in them meaning that she should be able to destroy stars or large planets at the bare minimum so she's definitely at least planetary or above planetary actually she might be dwarf star level with a low ball hell Tonery himself which they use for scaling was about to move the moon towards the earth and even was able to do it a little and to move the moon towards the earth requires planet level amount of energy and force meaning that even he was planet level when he fought Naruto and there is also the sage of the six paths who if you didn't know created the moon and you might think well isn't that just moon level no, it's not moon level. To create the moon how he did requires large planetary amounts of force, which is above the feat that they show for Hiei, which is like planetary and it's even from wrong calculations. So you might say, well, isn't the Sage of the Six Paths stronger than Sasuke? Perhaps he's stronger in his prime, but at the time he created the moon, he wasn't in his prime. He was young and 
actually he didn't even have the tentals at that point because Kaguya was still alive. So that Hagoromo is for sure comparable with Adu Sasuke, who is even able to beat people like Momoshiki, who Momoshiki is stated to be stronger than Kaguya but a lot of times, and even Sasuke thinks he's stronger than Kaguya, who again was about to destroy a planet or a dimension that has a planet with a moon and even a star. Even the Tentals in terms of Chakra, when we see in it, it's chakra it's comparable to the planets it's comparable to earth in size that's how much chakra this thing has even for example 50 or 100 or something like that joining were able to power up a cannon that was about to destroy the moon and naruto in the work was able to power three times the chakra of Kakashi thousands of people, meaning that he has a ludicrous amount of chakra. So seeing that characters like Naruto, Sasuke, Hagoromo, Kaguya, Momoshiki aren't at the bare minimum planet level, it's just contradicting the evidence that we have and as you can see there are a lot of evidence. They also abuse the no limit fallacy, they say that because he resisted or has low level lightning abilities and fire abilities and uh, his eye is strong in the Yu Hakusho world uh, Sasuke couldn't affect him with, with lightning attacks, with uh, Amaterasu or with Genjutsu which is as I said earlier a no limit fallacy you can't assume just because someone is resistant in its own universe to low level attacks that someone with higher power is not able to affect them that's just stupid so in conclusion it's pretty obvious that he is like multi-continental and Sasuke it's large planetary or even star level or even solar system level depending on the scale you want to use for his character and the gap between their power is gigantic. They messed up some calculations, they lowballed Sasuke, and yes, Sasuke should have won. And you might consider me a fanboy, which I'm not, I don't really like Sasuke that much, but if you actually know scaling, you know that Sasuke would destroy him in speed, power, durability, and everything overall. Yeah, this that battle was pretty crap. And I hate how they always lowball characters like that and sometimes they just highball them, it's just stupid. That being said, this has been uh, Crackton, um, this has been my debunk and see you next time, bye.